Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to this video. I don't know if it's going out as a main video or an extra video, we don't know. But essentially, won't be too long. This is what I'm fixing today. Now let me explain something to you, okay while I put on my gloves, shall we? So this is a plant I struggle to pronounce and it's not, I think what we call it is not even what it is, but on the tag, it actually has a tag um, that corresponds with some flowers and some seeds that we had going at one given point, but I call it Anthurium leconera. It's not, I'm going to put the, the correct name on the screen for you, but I don't know if it's its own thing or it's a Clarinervium hybrid, but it looks a bit like this. Hopefully you can see it is different from a Clarinervium. I can try and zoom you in in a moment i'm just keeping you zoomed out for now so you will see a little bit more than what you're seeing now but essentially it's in this state guys because it's been in the studio right it should have been repotted oh literally two years ago if not more it's been left the reason it's been left is because it was so pot bound. It has done nothing but flower for us. And it has produced some really beautiful hybrids. I'm actually, you know what? I'm actually gonna show you the hybrids it's produced because I know it looks terrible, but let me show you what she has managed to do for us, right? Because me and Ben are actually really excited about this. Let me show you this. This is a hybrid. Well, these whole things are actually, but this is a hybrid between Anthurium Delta Force and that plant here, right? Let me just zoom you in on that plant. Can I do it? The leaf there, not quite Clarinervium. I promise it's not, I promise it's not, but it's a hybrid of that and Delta. And because it's an F1 hybrid, you're gonna get loads of different things and you can see other plants in there quite aren't as, sorry, there they are. They're not as Delta-y, but this brand new one we've got coming in here is. Look at that, that's beautiful. It's coming off this plant here. We do have a few in there because we tend to just put seeds in moss and just sort of see what happens and then just not touch them for a while. But that's what we've got coming out of it, right? Good things have happened with this plant. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. But as a result, guys, because it kept flowering, because it kept having seeds on it, we just had to fucking leave it. <laughs> and as a result, it has gotten worse and worse and worse and worse until it's got to the point where it is what it is. There's a few plants upstairs that have actually done the same thing, if I'm honest. It's not good, but it is what it is. So today I'm going to attempt to repot this into two plants. I would like one of them. No prizes for telling you which one I'm going to take. So this is the smaller one here that is absolutely balked. And this is the large one here that is actually growing quite beautifully. There is another little thing coming off and I really hope that's a leaf. Uh, it's not, I think it's a flower. Great, awesome. Not the point though. So I wanna take one of these. I'm probably gonna take the big one. I'm probably gonna cut these two leaves off because they annoy me. They annoy me, I don't want them. So I'm probably gonna do that. I'm going to put that in. Let me show you. I'm going to put that in one of these. I've talked about this in my last video when I repotted that huge plum on the eye that is now actually behind me. And you know what, it looks all right, it looks all right. So I'm gonna put that in there. The other plant, I'm just literally going to plant in like one of the shop's pots and I'm gonna grow it out and I'm gonna get it nice down here and then we can use that for our future mother because we literally only have these two and I only have two because it decided to pop okay I wouldn't actually have two this I don't know if anyone remembers this but I did a plant haul when I came back from Thailand in 2020 and I handpicked this plant myself literally off a production line because I liked it and it was in with Clarinervium but it clearly wasn't Clarinervium so I picked it up and I absolutely adore it I think it's beautiful it's just enough different to be like yes let's have this let's have this now I wish I could show you my Clarinervium that's upstairs I wish I could bring it down because it's huge it's from the Netherlands, but it looks so different to this, guys. I can't, I can't even tell you how different it looks. It's not the same plant. So I realize that's maybe not super obvious when you can't see Clarinovium next to it, but I, I swear to you, it is different, okay? But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna very simply separate this out and put them in different pots. I'm now gonna try and zoom you in so you can see all of this a little bit better because I'm still zoomed out because I potted something quite large. So I'm going to do that now, see what I can do for you and see if I can get this looking a bit more sexier than what it does. That's actually the maximum I can zoom in but I do think that should be enough for you don't you I think I just need to watch what I'm doing with my hands on camera so what you can't see I have some of this this here is a bucket of pawn with the tiniest bit of lacquer in it and this here is a bucket of lacquer I'm going to need the bucket of lacquer to do the little plant and I'm going to need the pawn to do the big plant 
but I'm also going to need to try and get this plant out. And I genuinely have no idea what state this plant's in. I don't know how it's been left. I don't even know if it's going to come out of the pot. I can already see so much like desecrated roots from it going so dry. That's why it looks like this, okay? I, I know exactly why it looks like this, but I promise you they are healthy enough. They will be absolutely fine. I am literally grinding lacquer with my feet. How wonderful. And my mic is just, it's not good. Let's just tuck that back in. Ooh, that's cold. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to very gently remove it out of the reservoir. That is, as you can probably tell, bone dry. This is a Lechuza pot, by the way. This, you know, I've ragged on Lechuza pots, but this is one of the, the, the Lechuza models that is very good for Anthurium with longer leaves, like Queen Anthurium, stuff like this. It is taller than other Lechuza pots. It's not too big, it's all right, and you can clean this out because obviously it's separated. So I probably wrongly bashed on all the chooser pots in the previous video. They're not all bad. These are actually, you see a lot of anthurium in these, a lot of people like these, and it's because of the height. Plus, if you have smaller pots in front of it on a display stand, this one will automatically be taller and it'll just sort of help you out. So if you've got a queen anthurium and stuff like that, I totally recommend it. I put my, if you remember my wide boy, my handlebar boy, my queen anthurium with like a really wide lobes, really weird. I put him in one of these yesterday, uh, but he's only small because he nearly died, but he is alive. He's living. He will just be, he's a long time coming before we see him on camera, put him that way. If anyone really wants to see, uh, leave a comment and I'll pop it on my Instagram stories and you can see what he currently looks like. But anyway, besides the point, I'm actually going to cut this off. That is wedged. Ben, wedging it on. So yeah, we use these tags when we have flowers and we normally put it around the flower, but for whatever reason, Ben has not put it around the flower that time. And as you can see, these parts here are dead flowers that we've had good use out of. Not necessarily those specific ones, but you get the idea. So first things first, I'm somehow, guys, somehow, let's take this out. Can I take this out that way? No, it has to come out that way. No, I can't without de dethroning it. I might leave it then. So I'm not going to take that out. I just lied to you. It's just going to have to wiggle around now. I'm going to try and take this out and put this in here because I have another plant, right? I have like a couple of, I think they're Anthurium Chamberlainii hybrids, really pretty plants. I've got the same situation with them. I've got a couple that have like popped together and I tell you, I could not get them out of the pot. So with any luck, this will be nice and quick, but I can't guarantee it. So let's just pick it up. I mean, it is solid, I, I will say that. I genuinely just tip off the surface. Like I can't, oh no. Just get my fingers in and wiggle them around a bit. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't wanna pull that. Just a case of doing this as gently as I can, which to be honest, is not gentle. I'll try and do it this way so you can actually see what I'm doing. Otherwise it's no fun, is it? It's no fun. So that is actually gonna wiggle around because I should have really just took it out. Oh no, this is quite, oh, it's quite involved, you know. It's stuck. Oh no, it's coming, it's coming. Yes, boy. Wait, I thought that wasn't supposed to come out and it come out. What? Never mind. Right, let's see what we're dealing with, shall we? Let's put that over there because that can be used for something smaller. This is, I'll tell you something, this is, since we've done like pros and cons of um, self-watering pots, a, a con of nearly any self-watering pot really is if you don't get to it quick enough, you're going to have problems with roots, like growing through the bottom or whatever have you. This hasn't happened in this situation, but it probably would have if they hadn't been so mistreated and rotted and everything else, but hey-ho. So I'm going to very gently just work to separate these. Can you see this? Yeah, you should be able to see it well enough anyway. It's in the it's in the zoomy zoom square, so it should be fine. Oh God, let me tell you, these roots are dry as hell. Now, luckily, I don't know if it's actually related to Clarinervium or it's hybrid. Like I need to really find out what that is and I will try and see what I find out on Google very quickly and I'll just overlay it over me talking now. Um, I don't know what it is. The roots don't look quite as good as Anthurium roots because Anthurium roots, mm. Clarinervium roots, but they do look decent. But then again, you've got to remember these are so dehydrated, so we will see. I'm just going to have to pull through these as gently as I possibly can because this, is nuts and I probably will lose some root here because I can't it's kind of inevitable really they're so tangled guys I'm not going to be able to separate them if I had 10 hours then maybe I could yeah I've already just snapped one there right hang on hang on let's just gently pull wait, wait, where do you go where do you come from where do you come from ah right yes 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 now the risk we've got 
when we repot these, no matter which one is going into which pot or anything, if these are so dry that they are completely decimated, then decimated, desecrated. I don't know which one it is. You know what I mean? If the roots are completely destroyed, <laughs> just move on, Kaylee, it's fine. If the roots are completely destroyed, what's going to happen is they're going to rot because they're not, they're, they're dead. So they will rot. So when you do things like this, if you're in this situation and you do pot something, come back and check on it in two weeks. I know it's annoying. I know it's root disturbance and everything like that. But honestly, guys, just check on it. Just check on it and make sure it's all right. Right, those are separate. Oh my God. I don't have too much fallout into this liquor, but I'm gonna pull it out anyway because no one wants it. No one wants it. Let's just move that. There we go. Right, that is reusable. It's just, if anything, it's really fresh looking lacquer actually. There we go. Very nice. And then we'll just leave that there so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. That's the lacquer that's come out of it. The lacquer. Oh my God, you can tell I'm not very well, can't you? The pawn that's come out of it. Right, let's leave the big guy. Let's start on the little guy. And again, I can't zoom you in any more than what I am, so apologize. Let's just have a little, I don't think he needs anything cut off him, really. That's obviously a dead root. You could also, by the way, instead of potting them up straight away, you could always put them in water for 24 hours and just see what the situation is there. Because I think if they were gonna rot, it probably would become apparent in 24 hours. Haven't tried it myself. Don't know how long it would actually take. Definitely 72, I think you would see whether something was rotting, but you know what I mean? Like at the moment, I can't tell. They feel okay. They certainly don't feel completely dead, but as you can probably see on camera, they look terrible. Like there's a piece of root here that is clearly dead. And it's just still stuck to it there. Um, that's one bit of root that's quite alive. It almost looks calloused, it's that dry. It's really bizarre. If you obviously, if you see anything snapped, take that off as well. Is that a bit snapped? That looks a bit snappy snapped. Yeah, I'd rather lose it. I'd rather lose it than rot it. The end of that doesn't look great. We'll just cut that back. That's green there, so we know that's good. Not bad. This bit's dead here. I'll just remove that. Again, I, I, don't, I don't really want to cut too much. I mean, it's suffered enough, do you know what I mean? So what I probably will do, because this is unsightly and it's going to plant really weird in the pot, so I'm actually just going to cut this off. No one needs it. Oh, nearly, oh, nearly cut into that. Oh no, is that, is that a double growth point or we've got a flower or something? But anyway, I'm going to cut that off. So that doesn't look terrible. It's just going to sit nicer in the pot. There you go. And all I'm going to do for that is... Easiest thing in the world, guys. I'm going to get some lacquer and I'm going to put it in the pot. And when I water this the first time, I'm going to water it through and then it should sit in lacquer, which might be nice because it's not going to get super, super, super wet. It's not going to be sat in water. But honestly, you do whatever you think is best for you and your plants and the methods you are familiar using because no one talks about that enough. If you are only good with water propagation and someone says, oh, no matter what you do, put it in lacquer, blah, blah, blah. Don't, like, don't put everything in it. Do you know what I mean? Just, just take your time and just experiment with one plant, for example. Don't do it with everything. I see that a lot online. Everyone's like, oh my God, people said I should switch to lacquer. What do I do? I, I've got all my plants in lacquer and now they're all dying. Don't put that pressure on yourself. Literally, buy a little bag of lacquer, take a cutting of something you don't care about and try it that way. And learn things like, you know, the different substrates that way. I promise you it's much better. Right, that's all I'm doing for him, guys. Literally, he doesn't need anything else. He just needs to survive, bless him, bless his heart. So he does look terrible. I will absolutely give you that. He's not, he's not a vibe. He's not fantastically rooted in the pot, but to be honest, as soon as I wet the lecker, he will settle a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna move him off camera because he's not the point of today's lesson. I'm gonna take this. This is not clean, but I don't mind so much because I can flush the inside of the pot endlessly and I can also clean the outside of that. So I'm not too fussed, guys. I know it's gross, but honestly, it's fine. Right. This, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of lacquer in the bottom. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before on camera, but I do like to do it. Because in my opinion, it just offers a little bit extra drainage. And most of us have lacquer more than we have pond. So I only put a little bit just to cover the, I don't know what you call it, the troughs in the bottom, say. And then it's ready for pond. Also, if you are running low on pond, I did this in my last video as well, you can fill it halfway full of lacquer and put pond on the top. Do you, do you. I do suggest pond on the top and not lacquer, but easy, easy. Right, we'll put a bit in that and then we're just gonna have a look at this guy because this guy is something else. He's not fully hardened off yet, this beautiful leaf here, this gorgeous boy. So I'm gonna have to be very careful with him. But I 
am going to take these off because when I pot him, he's going to be pulled every which way from sideways and I don't think he needs to be. So I would love to keep this leaf on and you're probably thinking, oh, he's not that bad. And you're right, he's not. He's not that bad. He's quite nice. He's a big boy as well. But I just think if I do it, he's going to look ridiculous, isn't he? And at least that way, he looks a bit more Instagrammable. Let's just be honest with ourselves, right? He looks a bit more Instagrammable. We've got off to a better start. I'm also going to take these off. They should just pull. There you go. These are the old flowers. Impressions, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, how nice is that? He's so pretty. He's such a pretty plant. He's not completely unhealthy. This is a this is an underwatering slash overpopulated situation. I don't really want to take him off. I might leave him on. Should we leave him on and see how it is? Because it means I'll prot him. I can sort of plant him straight. I just think he's gonna look ridiculous, but he might straighten out a bit. Oh, I don't know, guys. I can't really put much around there. I could put a tiny bit of something around there, but not a lot. I did have a little bit of uh, what do you call it? A little bit of Velcro. Oh, it's actually a big bit of Velcro. Um, such as this, look, I could try and very gently, I mean, it's very unsightly, but maybe just to train him without cutting him, I can do that instead. Hang on. Might help me pot him actually as well. I do this, very temporary again, and leave him like that. How does that look? Does that look okay? It's not bad, is it? Anyway, back to the main task. Be very gentle with a new leaf, so I don't want to balk that. And we'll just leave him to see how he is. Pull off some of this old stuff so I can see what he's got going on. Always helps, always helps. A bit unsightly anyway. To be honest, at some point, if he gets better roots, he will absolutely be propagated and he will be butt cut again. But at the moment, no. Right, this guy has a lot more damage than the baby, which would make sense. He's been around a lot longer. So I can actually see really old root rot here that absolutely has to come off. Otherwise, we're in a bit of trouble when he gets wet. He's gonna have fresh rot. So that looks dead. Is that snapped? No. Take that to there. And if you're wondering how I'm doing this, honestly, if I said it was anything other than semi-guesswork, I'd be lying to you. You can just sort of tell when they're completely dead and then you can sort of guess when they're turning. Like that's completely dead, I can see that. That feels a bit snappy, is it? Mm, I'll, I'm gonna take it off. Because I always say, when in doubt, take it off. Off. Yeah, that's green inside that. That's good. I'd rather snip a piece of root, guys, and see green inside it and be like, right, okay, then leave on rot. I just would. Maybe that's just my way, um, which is completely fine if that's not your way, but it's really just how I'd prefer to be. I just, there's nothing worse than, you know, planting a pot up and then maybe two weeks later there's root rot on it and you probably could have just prevented it by being a bit aggressive. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to take some bits off. Like that has rotted on the end, but that's fine. I had loads of rot somewhere and it's kind of become a string. Where's that gone? Some here near the base. Keep turning them. Oh, he's bad. Look at him. He's come off anyway. He's come off anyway. I promise I'm not pulling hard. I know it might look like I am, but I'm I'm really not. So you can see loads of like threads where it's rotted. And again, it's rotted from being dry. You can totally tell. Because if it rotted from being wet, there'd be so much more rot than what there is. This is a decent root system. Do you know what I mean? It's it's come from being too dry and just dying which I don't recommend, got to say. I um, don't recommend you do this. But again, no one goes up into the studio enough because there's a bit of a chew on to get up there. And it gets blasted with sun. When I say blasted, I mean blasted with sun. So it's not ideal. So that's normally why problems occur up there. Another bit there that's rotted off. Is it green? Mm, not quite. That's not green at all. We'll leave that. Uh, what else we got? That's a bit shit. Get rid of that. We got there, that looks okay. I mean, none of them look fantastic, don't get me wrong, they do look a bit shriveled, but I'm just hoping they hydrate. I've known them to do it before, but I am kind of basing my opinion off Clarinervium a little bit, so. But this has always been tough, to be fair. By the fact it's even alive, guys, trust me, it's tough enough, do you know what I mean? Let's have a look. What's that? That's old rot there. What we got? Oh, God. Oh, the new leaf. The new leaf. <laughs> Try to be really careful. Oh, see, that's, that's dead as hell, that one. Cut that right off. Don't need that, do we? It's not great either. la di da What are we doing? Like so. Dead. We're getting there. We are getting there. I really want to cough. <coughs> so ill. I really hope I don't have anything bad because it's going to be really annoying because it's clearly going to affect me because I have such a sore throat. It's going to be hard to talk after a while. I think that's alive. I think we've got most of it. I say I haven't actually cut a huge amount off. I was expecting this to be so much worse. And I would sort of butt cut it there. Um, I can do a bit of a butt cut. I just don't think it's a good idea now. I'd rather let him heal because I don't know how much of this is dead. So although he is very tall and it's going to be very annoying, I'm just going to leave him like that and we'll see. And if, if I can butt cut him in a few weeks, I will. Yeah, he might just have to live like that, mightn't he? Because that doesn't look horrific. It just doesn't look 
I deal with this little bit of bacterial rust right here. But you know what, guys? It's fine. So we lie him down real gently, like that. Because I like him a lot. I would like to take him to my house. So, what do I need? I need pawn. So, this is actually a big root system for this pot. This is probably... <sighs> If anything, slightly small for him, but given his situation, I'm going to keep him as he is. I don't know what he's about to lose. I'm going to pop him down like that. His roots are just going to have to be not crushed. I wouldn't say I was crushing them. I just wouldn't say I was being humongously kind to them. But I don't think I can take out any more liquor, to be honest. It's kind of... It's kind of... Yeah, I mean, now I don't have enough to even cover the bottom, look. We'll do it. We'll, we'll do it that way. That's fine. Dangle him in. Get him in where I want him. He could do with a size up. I know. I hear you cry. But again, this can be temporary. I'm really not against taking him out in a few weeks. Whatever happens to him, it's bound to be better than what he's had, okay? Like, it has bound to be better than what he's had. Just pour this in a bit. Let it get itself down there. A bit more. Remember, this is all just the lecker that's come out of the other pot, so that tells you that it's probably similar size anyway. I uh, can't see where I'm pouring. Yeah, he's not going to be ideal here, is he? <laughs> How has he managed to lean that much? How do I manage to do this? I think I've potted something really well and then it just it just goes awry. Is that about right? I'll put a little bit more on the top. Why not? Why not? Since that's what was there anyway. There. So that's kind of that in the top there. I don't, I don't know. You know what I could do? Do I have one? Yes. I could, 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 could gently attempt... Oh god, I hate pushing these in. I don't know if that's even doing anything, but I could just attempt that a little bit, just to help secure him, although I don't actually think it's doing anything, because this isn't tight enough, I don't think. Let's do it further down. I don't want to do it too far down, you see, because of the caterpillars and things like that. I need to give him a good chance, but I'll just leave him like that. Do you think he'll be okay? Maybe? It's not terrible, is it? It's, it's, you know, it's not ideal. It's a very floppy boy, that. Good lord, it's floppy. But I think that kind of needs to be him, to be honest. So let me just do this. And then if I pop him in here, move that out of the way. Pop him, I'm put the label at the back, no one cares about the label. Pop them in there. Oh, I'm going to do something. I don't know if you can see this here, right? I'm sorry, I cannot zoom in anymore. But I mentioned this on the previous video as well. I have a little trick for getting the shit out of here. This here is a paintbrush for horses' hooves. Paintbrush? It's a brush. It's a hoof brush. Um, I like to just sort of do this look. The bristles are firm enough to actually remove all of the pond from this little watering reservoir. She says as she gets one bit stuck. Hilarious. There we go. It just removes it all. So you don't have to be quite as accurate when you're pouring stuff in. It's just nice and it takes all the shit off everywhere. So that is lovely. So that there, to be honest, is probably as far as I'm willing to push him. I don't really want to do much more than that. I'm just concerned with how far I push that down. I mean, I could just not use it at all, but then what's the point? Maybe I could put it down there. Sorry guys, I'm just genuinely experimenting here with what seems safe. Maybe I could leave it like that so when things grow up they're okay, but I just think it's doing nothing at that point. Like, there's no point having it. You know, I'm gonna leave it further up. Come what may, guys, come what may. We'll see. I do think it's pumping out a flower, which would make sense, because remember, it still thinks it's pot-bound. And it's sad, because you can see why we've left it, because we've needed the flowers for, you know, hybridization. Um, so we have left him, but, I mean, there's no excuse for the neglect, don't get me wrong. But it is why he's probably still flowering. Well, I think that doesn't look terrible. What do you think? Let me clean up, and I'll be right back, guys. Ow. Oh my god. Oh my god. As I say, I promise he is different from a Clarinervium. I just promise you. I can't prove it right now, but I promise you he is. Because even that, to be fair, it does look a bit Clarinervium-y, does it? No, I think you could tell the difference. For me, the difference is actually around the edge, as well as some of the veining as well, obviously. But I just think the veining on this does get a little bit, like, frilly around the edge. It's really, really nice. Can you move that back? No, you need it move forward, actually. There you go. That's the best I can do. And as I say, he is still floppy, so there's not a lot I can do about him other than leave him like that and just monitor when this grows up so that this doesn't interfere with this. Uh, yeah, this is his little child, I guess you could say, that I'm going to keep in the shop and keep nice. And that's kind of him. So I'll just show you this leaf up close so you can sort of see what I mean. In case you're thinking, hmm, is it different though? Do it be different? Let me zoom out. Much easier. This is his leaf. Different to you? I don't know. Answers on a postcard, but I promise, I just promise you, this is a little bit like the Monstera um, Brazil common form thing. You just have to trust me when I say it's different. 
apron. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this very super quick little report, this little saving of this plant. I'm pretty sure I'm going to take this straight back to my house because I think he's cute. I've always wanted to keep him for myself and if I don't save him now, we will never have him. I'm not going to feed him here, I'm going to do it at home because I have to put these in the car and I don't want loads of water everywhere, less of all my feed everywhere. So I'm actually going to feed them with a uh, nurture system at home, but I'm probably going to take him right now. I might even wrestle last week's plant, the big plant money eye, into the car, into a convertible. I don't know. I'll let you know how that goes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. All my socials are down on the screen below. Links to my merch are in the description, my feed as well, all of the things. I will love you and leave you. Have a great one. Hope you enjoyed these plant chores or chore, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better, literally.